everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC standing as always next to Bob, my best friend. And I'm standing also with Keith. Now, normally we're sitting, but we're standing. Yeah, we're standing. Because we're healthy. Because, yeah, you don't like, I sit too much apparently. At least that's what I've been told. It hurts. Okay. Okay. Well, you look good standing. <laughs> I, I look really good sitting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk we're about software. Way, we're we're going to talk about software that Bob wrote. Well, he didn't actually wrote. He no. uh, he got a hold of some open bill stuff and corrupted it. <laughs> there you go. That, that might be true. <laughs> so yeah. So our uh, new software suite is yes. Basic Cam and Basic Center, which we actually started, like he said, from the open source. Um, Open builds, builds yeah. right? And it was it was stable. It was uh, I liked the way that it looked, uh, and I liked that it was in JavaScript because it's it's I can code in it. Right. So we took that, and really what we did is is we made it work for our machines, and we did. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah. I don't know what part of we you did, but I think it was. The I'm manual standing there we, we, I'm taking yeah, the credit for it. Yes. But if we have any problems, yes. it would <laughs> take it would pop. Pop. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's just kind of run through what the software does and what it okay. doesn't do. So starting with the CAM, this is it's a really simple package to get you started so that you can create tool paths to run our machines with. Now it's not going to replace Vetric, it's not even going to replace EstoCAM. It's a really simple one to get started, but what it will do is it lets you draw an inkscape and bring it in, or you can draw your simple shapes like triangle, square, stars, those type of things in the CAM program and create a G code file. But it's and it's text. not text and text, yeah. yeah. But it's not going to be your 3D. It's not going to be your guitar builder's choice, but it definitely would get you started. As a matter of fact, honestly, I really think that I could manufacture all of our CNC machines using the open build scan. And the reason you could do that though is because you work primarily in 2 and a half D. Yeah, exactly. So I could import the DXFs, right. create the tool paths, and then send them to the Which center. is why, as wonderful as it is, it's really limited. Yeah. For me. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. For the type of work, the yeah. 3D work that Keith likes to do, our resident artist. Sure. And, uh, well, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, Better we, than me. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Oh, okay. we are artists. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I like that. I like yeah. the way that We are out. liars. Yeah. <laughs> that could be too. Okay. But either way, the camp is going to be as simple, but it's going to get you started. Yeah. And of course, it's free. It's open source. That you is can, the best thing. Yeah, you can check out the code if you want to help me uh, write some. Yeah. Uh, or it's uh, already released. Yeah, it is. The beta version. You can get it on our and, on our website. Yeah, and you and you guys that are, aren't interested, just get it on our website. But you guys that are interested in giving us some feedback or some feature requests, uh, if you understand GitHub, you can go there and just write a, hey, Bob, can you do this? And I can start adding them up and seeing if I can get those written. Now, I, I want to be honest with everybody. I didn't do this all by myself. We have a company we called... We did. Yeah, we, yeah. Well... Yeah. Okay. No we have a company called Element Eleven yes. that takes care of our stuff, and a guy named Ben and Kyle really helped me uh, get started with this and, and showed me what I needed to do, and also wrote some of it. So, uh, so those guys are awesome. So they I wanted to give them. Yeah. So let's get to the sender side. Yes. So the reason we wrote the sender side was really uh, we wanted to make it for our machines so that you could actually flash your controller. Uh, the microcontroller has firmware on it, yep. and we had a batch file which didn't work out really well for our Mac customers or Linux customers. Yes. However, now you'll be able to do that right in the basic center software. So if you mess up your firmware or you want to load something different, you can just actually load it straight from there. Yep. Uh, we also have it for a revolution machine. So our revolution machine has a rotating axis, so it's an XZA machine instead right. of an XYZ. So this will work with either the XYZ or the XZA machines. Yes. So uh, you'll have to configure it for the machine when you start up, but it will actually display your G code with the wrapping axis and, and run it as well. And you can calibrate it in inches and millimeters? Yeah, you so that was choices. one thing that we did in the cam side is we changed it so you could use inches and millimeters. Right. And in the uh, sender side, you could always use that, but it yeah. works. It worked well. I did change it around a little bit. 
so that uh, made the interface a little more logical, a little, easier to work. Well, with. the way I like it. So I don't. Oh, know it's the way I like it, it too. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. that's so sweet. No, I've learned. That. He hasn't even <laughs> opened it yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, anyway. I. No, yeah, he's writing the manual. Yes, I am. Okay, there you go. That's my new name. So anyway, definitely. Emanuel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> For electronics. Not the other one. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Anyway. That was biblical. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that was really yeah. good. All right. So definitely check out our Open Build software. It's yes. on our webpage. And again, uh, it's in the beta stage. We're looking for feedback and uh, looking for features to add. I do still want to do a start from here feature. Yes. Right? And I got some other plans too, but uh, I want to hear what you guys want. So yes. uh, let us know. So uh, if you're really it. happy with it, you can get a hold of me and say thanks. There's a problem. Yeah. Get a hold of Bob yes. at the help desk. That's the way marketing yeah. people are. Yeah. Right, Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.